This is Irene Woods, and in this video we're going to work on method three for how to do fair isle on basic knitting machines. We've covered the method that is in the manual for the LK150 and the KX350 machines, and now we're going to branch out into methods that are not shown, to my knowledge, in any manual. These are things that we've just sort of learned along the way over the course of about 40 years. And a lot of these were originally shown on some of the very old knitting lists back in the 90s. So they are not my invention, none of them. Uh, I have built on knowledge of other machine knitters, but I'm not seeing it being published anywhere now. And I think some of these methods are actually easier to use than what you find in your manual. What we're going to do in this video is this pattern. And we'll go through it step by step. And I hope you find this useful. This is a unit that is sold for hand knitters. Basically what it is, let's see if I can back this up a little bit. Basically it's a folding easel type board with a strap that holds it together. And that allows it to be set up either vertically or horizontally and there's a, a long magnet that goes across the page and the base is magnetized so the magnet holds the paper to this easel base and then this long magnet also acts as a guide as a reading guide now as a hand knitter I prefer to have the magnet above the row I'm working on and then I would read right below the magnet but as a machine knitter I prefer to set it up this way and I can't tell you which is best for you you'll just simply have to play with something similar and see what works best for you now they are a little pricey it seems like this one was around thirty dollars for the unit um, you certainly do not have to spend that kind of money. You can buy magnets such as this in the craft department of almost any um, big craft store. I know Joann's carries it, Michael's does too. And I'm almost certain that Amazon would have it because they've got a very good craft section or just any kind of a strip magnet. And you just need something with steel in it, with iron in it. Um, a lot of cookie sheets will work. Some of them won't. If they're aluminum, obviously they won't. Another thing you can do is a clipboard and a fat rubber band. In our area, broccoli and celery come held together with fat blue rubber bands. The bands are nearly a quarter of an inch wide, very strong. Um, they will go around a clipboard barely. You do have to stretch quite a bit. But that is something else that you could try, which would be extremely inexpensive. And if you can't find anything at all that will work, you can always keep your clipboard flat on the table, put a ruler or a strip of colored paper underneath it. Um, years ago, I used post-it notes, the colored sticky paper that you just write a little note on and post it wherever you want to. And that works quite well. In fact, I think I will go get one and show you what that looks like. Now obviously you're going to need the longer style post-it notes, or two post-it notes. And this is where I was in the pattern, so let's just put that under there. And see that works very well also. It's just something to help you keep your place when you're working through the chart. 
but I'm going to go back to the magnet because it's easier to move up and down. Okay, method three is similar in some respects to method one, but I think it's a little bit easier to do. It still involves knitting one row of one of the colors of yarn, removing the carriage, putting it back on the original side, and then knitting with the other color. It takes two rows of knitting to knit one row on the chart. We're going to begin with the main color in the carriage. I've brought forward the selected needles and these will be the contrast color. So we begin knitting with main color and only the stitches that are in position B will knit. Make sure that all four carriage levers are in the back position and knit one row. Take out the main color, put the carriage back on the right side of the bed and thread it with contrast, which is white. Now reset the carriage. All the levers need to come forward. All of them are in the forward position. And knit one row. Now I'm going to move my magnet up one row so that I can select the next set of needles. And I normally work from the center out. So on the chart that I'm using, the center motif would have been at center zero. Different charts will be set up different ways and the pattern will tell you how to do that. But in this case, I am using center zero as the central motif on that pattern. So the easiest way for me to start is to give myself a little visual reference. I know that this was the center stitch. And I need three red there in the center this time. So these are going to stay back but I need to bring them forward just slightly so that I can see what I'm doing. Then I need two contrasts, one main color, two contrast, three main color, two contrast, one main color, and then two contrast. Okay, so then here Okay, and always before you knit make sure that you check Because you can see a definite pattern both in the needles that are in the back position and in the needles in the front position Right just that a little bit Okay, again, we need to begin with main color yarn, so take out the contrast. Put the main color in the carriage and reset all levers to the backwards position. knit one row. Take out the main color, remove the carriage, put it back on the left side. Okay. Now reset the carriage. All the levers need to come forward. All four levers in the forward position. I'm going to move my magnet up one row and select the next, next set of needles. 
Okay, now we have just one main color stitch at center zero. But I'm going to bring it forward slightly for a reference so that I know that's where the center is. Now we're at the center of this motif and it has one contrast stitch in the middle. And then there's a main color and five contrast. Okay, then one in the center, skip one and five. Okay, check your pattern to make sure that it is correct and it appears to be. Main color. Put the main color in the carriage and all four levers to the backward position. Remove the carriage and put it back on the other side. Thread up with contrast. All levers forward. Knit one row. So we would continue as we have begun working through the chart. Knit the main color stitches with the main color yarn, take the carriage off, put it back on the original side, thread up with contrast, and knit one row. I'm going to complete this off camera, and then I will be back to show you what it looks like. This is what we have. Looks pretty good.